Okay, so it looks like we got a 30 gallon aquarium here with some water lettuce. Got a couple of Dalmatian mollies hiding there in the corner, staying warm by the heater. Got some frog nip or frog bit. Frog bit. More water lettuce with a couple of Java. pieces and we got a java plant down here some granite with some driftwood behind it these roots are pretty long on these water lettuce we got selenite down here in the substrate with the purple and black gravel got a hide back there, house made up for whoever wants to hide in there they can hide in between the rock and the driftwood kinda got some selenite all around to use as filler so I don't have to use so much gravel got some kinda rock down there, not sure what it is, they like to play in this glass sometimes they like the ornaments and hiding behind them in the java ferns. Got a bunch of rasboras as you can see and then we got those uh, tetras, the black skirted tetras and black neon tetras. Also red eye tetras. There's the fourth of them trailing behind. Here's the rest of the three of the school. They are pretty healthy. We got a Placostomus around here somewhere, if I can find it. And he is a bristlenose Placostomus. And we got a pre-filter here that's a foam filter. They do pretty good at generating some beneficial bacteria that you would need. I got a nice and pretty quiet filter I would say. Got it on full blast right now for a 30 gallon tank. Got these aqua neat lights. They are really nice. They're LED. Let's see if we can get some kind of color going through there for you. Yep. So we got some green, blue, and white LEDs and purple violet in there. They really bring out these fish's eyes. I love it. And these rasboras are just taking the front of the scene right now. We got some garamis in there if I could find them too. Here they come. Look at that. Popping out there. You heard your name, huh? That's pastrami. And there's another one back there that's salami. And there are garamis. Yeah. They are just playing hard to find right now so yeah fish tanks doing pretty good right now always checking the water with the uh, master kit you know this freshwater master kit got another lamp set up here and Got an aquarium over here, too, with some uh, water hyacinth on the top. Yeah. Everybody's doing pretty good. Can't find the, the costumus right now, but he's around somewhere. these rasboras we just got them recently and they've been just schooling in the front
There's our little little neon tetra. Or he's just a neon. They like to eat the uh, buffet pellets made by the for the betas. They also like some tropical fish flakes. I got a heater in the back. It's 100 watt. And it is set to 78 degrees. This water's pH is a little on the higher side, right above 7. So I brought it down just a little bit so the other fish are happy too, like the rasboras that like it a little low. Not putting it too low so they breed, but just low enough to where they're absolutely happy with the rest of the fish too. These tropical fish don't mind such a higher pH. The uh, pH helps stabilize around the lower 7s because of the driftwood in there also. It's helping it stay low. The regular water I've been putting in there is around 7.5 and that driftwood helps keep it low. I also put just a little bit of vinegar in there sometimes. But you don't want to overdo it on that vinegar because then you'll block off your processes from happening all the way on the cycles. It's just for a kind of a temporary thing to bring the pH down before you've set all your variables. Yeah, they really like these roots from the water lettuce. Well, here comes a garami to say hi. Hello. They are just beautiful. I love these garamis. Peekaboo! Through the Java fern. <laughs> cool, going in his little hide there in the back. Nice. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Just kind of setting up this tank and things are going pretty good so far. Got these uh, plugs down here. It's nice and clean under the tank. Extra plug if I need it. I made this uh, cloth that goes around a foam pad here in the skulls. And just to refresh. If you want to know more about what the fish are, here's a list. You can pause it and check out what kind of plants and fish I got in there. And one last look at the aquarium. Check out these rasboras one time because they are just really popping with this light. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I may post some cool videos in the future of how our fish are doing and stuff. So have a marvelous evening.